cool looking ant hill. Uh, Usually when I see these little tunnels, it's just one tunnel. Good morning and welcome to Wholesome Roots. This morning I am really happy because yesterday I had a package come in the mail from the Appalachian Homestead with Patara. So I won her Facebook contest which was totally random and such a huge surprise that I won and I was so happy because I have been wanting to buy what the contest was for forever. So in case you haven't already noticed, what it is that I won is these beautiful babies. Look at that. Look at that. I won sloggers, chicken sloggers at that. And I must say already so far, they feel so comfortable. I love it. I'm so happy. Thank you, Patara. For any of you that uh, are like living in a cave or something and don't already know, Patara over at the Appalachian Homestead has a great YouTube channel and she also has a great Facebook page. I've actually been following her Facebook page for years and years and years, like since I've been on Facebook pretty much. Um, and it wasn't until recently that I started following YouTube channels, so hers was one of the first ones that I followed. You may be thinking, wow, this girl's so lucky she wins stuff. But really, the people who are super lucky are the ones that are actually going to the Appalachian Homestead Conference this weekend. I wish I could make it. Um, unfortunately, I just, with time and money constraints, I just, there's just no way we can make it. I would love to, maybe next year, hopefully. Um, it is probably about a four hour drive from here, so it is a bit of a drive, but not too far. So we could do it. Um, we just would need to have somebody take care of our animals or one of us stay behind to take care of the animals and children um, to make it a little easier on us. But the cost involved is my thing. The, the expense of the conference tickets isn't much, but once you add in driving and gas and lodging and food, it just gets beyond our budget. But hopefully by next year, we'll have it built into our budget and we'll make sure that we can go. So thanks again, Patara, I love them. So for those of you that have been asking what we feed our goats, um, for the milking goats or late trimester pregnant does, we give alfalfa pellets and non-GMO all stock pellets. And I do two scoops of each and I mix them together. And then I add a scoop of black oil sunflower seeds and a scoop of oats and I mix it in. So each doe as they come up to be milked gets a scoop of this and if they're late pregnancy I still give them a scoop it's just sometimes in the stall sometimes on the stand to help them train to come to the stand depends on how much time I have and what I'm up to this morning. So that is their grain ration that they get for breakfast. Then in the evening, Ryan does kind of a similar feed for them, but it's like a handful for each goat. And he does not put the alfalfa pellets in the buck food. So the buck stall gets no alfalfa pellets. Um, and the reason for that is urinary colci is something that bucks get if they have too rich of a protein diet. In addition to what they get for breakfast and dinner as their grain food, they also get free choice Bermuda hay. We have Bermuda available all day long in the pasture along with what they get to graze on in the pasture. And we are extra, extra lucky because we have access to fresh organic juice pulp. And what this is, is what's left over after the cold pressed juice is pressed all of the vegetable pulp and the fruit pulp is left behind and we pick that up daily from a local organic juice pulp company. So the does in milk or lay pregnancy get chaffe as well. Now on our young goats, 
like under three months old, when we're really trying to make sure that they're growing well, we let them have access to the same grain mix and the chaff hay as well. So they get that while their mom's getting it. So they, they definitely have uh, a good healthy start for their growing bodies. Then we also give at night, instead of putting Bermuda in the doe stall, we put alfalfa hay in their stall. So they get hay in their stalls at night to make sure that they um, have something to eat if they wake up and they're hungry because they're our babies. And they get free choice trace minerals, loose minerals. They don't, goats don't tend to lick a salt block. Um, if you're using a salt block for your goats, it's not a good idea because they're not really going to get what they need from that. So we do free choice um, trace minerals, um, loose we leave a bucket of that in the pasture and in the stalls. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. We don't really do treats that much. Um, I know some people use animal cookies as treats for their goats or fig newtons, I've heard too, but we don't really do that. The fruit and vegetable pulp is their treat. They love that. And it's really good because it's not too um, wet where it's causing diarrhea because all the juice has been extracted from it. So it's really rich fiber with a lot of good vitamins still left behind. I knew I was leaving something out. In the winter, when we know it's gonna be really cold at night, we will soak um, beet pulp for them and give them extra nutrition that way where they get some beet pulp and that helps warm up their bodies and keep them warm through the night on cold nights. And that's about the only time we use that unless of course we have a doe that's underweight if we have somebody whose body condition score is lower than we want it to be and we're trying to fatten them up we'll use the beet pulp as well well i have to say that my dry run of my sloggers went great so i am super excited wow so i'm super excited about them tomorrow at swiss there ain't so i'll really get to break them in then They love it in here and we are loving it too because for the very first time we have clean duck eggs that are not covered in mud because they're laying them in the nest box which is a huge bonus. Aren't they cute? So we have had a great day starting out our morning with our wonderful new sloggers and showing you guys what we do for feed with the animals. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed today's vlog. Tune in tomorrow for more. Like, share, subscribe to our channel. Please subscribe. If you're watching this, if you're one of the 50% of my viewers that are watching this, and you haven't subscribed yet why not it'll help us out so much because the more subscribers we have the more people that get to see all of our great content so do it do it now and we'll see you next time on wholesome roots